Cam Hayward, who Steelers now, Alan Saunders reports, has hit a quote-unquote sticking point in contract negotiations. It seems that that sticking point is the difference between two and three years on a contract extension. Cam Hayward, who's 35 years old this season, wants to play another two to three years. It seems that maybe the Pittsburgh Steelers want it to be fewer years, and Cam Hayward wants it to be more years. I'm starting to get a little worried that things are not going to work out between the two sides. Granted, Cam Hayward has been here before where it's come down to the final hour, and you thought Cam wasn't going to get a deal done, and then he did get a deal done. 35 years old, I don't feel as good about that one. My thoughts here are very simple. If you're Cam Hayward, you don't want to go out as an enemy. You don't want to go out as the bad guy. You don't want to go out as the villain. And I think he might be approaching that the longer this goes on and the more that is said and social media these days and the whole nine, you could you could really kind of dig yourself a bit of a hole. And I don't want Cam to do that. But if things don't go north before the end of all this, I think there's a possibility that it does. I don't think he's going to go out as gracefully as Troy, as Troy Palomalu or Heinz Ward or Ben Roethlisberger. I look at Cam as a guy who's going to stick to his guns and say, hey, I'm playing football, whether it's in Pittsburgh or somewhere else, I'm going to play football. He's not going to be forced into retirement. And I don't know if that's going to end in Pittsburgh. But to be honest, at 35 years old, I'm not giving anybody a, thir- a three-year contract extension. I don't care who you are because you're going to be 38 by the time that's over. You're dealing with injuries already. Just doesn't make any sense. I could see a one-year deal. I could see a two-year deal max where everything's backloaded and nothing's guaranteed in that final year. So you're going to take a shot on yourself if you're Cam Hayward. There's no chance a three-year deal is on the table if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think things could end kind of ugly when it comes to Cam and the Steelers at this point. Yeah, when he was talking at OTAs, uh, I was telling you before we got on the show, he said, yeah, I think I can play for two or three more years. I thought he was saying including this year. And I was like, all right, well, yeah. two-year extension, that makes sense. And I feel like that fits. And, and we had talked about that previously. If he wants that third year after this year and playing four more years, including this year, I think that's a little bit, uh, like, like you mentioned, I feel like that's a little bit of a stretch. But yeah. the other thing with Cam Hayward is, and, and we kind of talked about it in the inverse with Brandon Ayuk, is there's no question whether or not he's going to play this year. So yeah. there is a world in which the Steelers say, listen, we're not going to do it right now. You're coming off of a season that was pretty much lost to injuries. And he goes out there, has a good year. And the Steelers say, you know what? We feel better about this and all's well that ends well. But we also talked about the fact that, you know, Cam Hayward, there's a reason that this is different than those other instances you mentioned. He's trying to get ahead of it. He wants to get ahead of it. He doesn't want to play on a contract year. He wants to be secure that he's going to be a Steeler for life. And I'm not sure how that's going to play mentally with him if they don't get a deal done and he ends up having to play on a contract season, how that changes his view of being a quote unquote one helmet guy. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree. And this is this is a valid point here. And I want to address this. So if Russell Wilson played well, you wouldn't offer him a three year contract extension that would have him tied up until he's 39 years old. If he's asking for real quarterback money, the answer is no. Because at some point, guys are going to fall off and you could have one good year. And and Cam Hayward's a totally different example than Russell Wilson, because Russell Wilson's a quarterback. Cam Hayward's taking a lot more blow to that body every single season than a quarterback is, especially if you could keep them clean. It's it. Most guys who play defensive tackle don't play every single game, every single down until they're 38 years old. You have guys like Nadama can sue and many others who have played into their late 30s who sign with teams in week 15 and then go on a playoff run. That's what they do. And if Cam wanted to be that guy who signs for four million bucks in week 13, all right, great. But if you're going to expect him to play 17 games a season at 36, 37, 38 years old, there's no chance There's no chance any team is taking a risk on that and saying that's the way we're going to approach things and expect it to work out in our favor. Just doesn't work. Quarterback, yeah, you could play every game at 39 years old. They do it all the time. Defensive tackle, that almost never happens. And Russ, as a a whole, on the other side of that, depending on the money, I don't think I'm giving Russ a contract extension, even if he goes out and wins a Super Bowl, unless it's 
cheap and you're taking a super team friendly deal in the 20s or maybe the 30s max. But Cam Hayward's a totally other animal. You're not giving a defensive tackle 15 million bucks a year at 37 years old and saying, go play 17 games. I don't care how good he is. No team is going to take that chance on a guy like Cam Hayward. I hope it ends in a positive direction. I hope Cam Hayward at some point adjusts his view and they find some middle ground and they make it work somehow. I would hate to see Cam go play somewhere else. I think that would be a real bummer to the end of his career. But at the same time, in 10 years, nobody remembers those things. Nobody remembers that. I mean, you could you could take it as far as anybody. You could take it as far as anybody. Joe Montana is the biggest name that everybody uses in this example. But our kids won't remember until we tell them that Joe Montana played for the Kansas City Chiefs. And even then, they'll forget most of the time. But they'll remember who Joe Montana is because they've learned about Joe Montana, the San Francisco 49ers quarterback. Cam Hayward will be the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive tackle who in 10 years, people won't remember, played a season for the Houston Texans or whoever. Hopefully not the Cleveland Browns, won't be the Cleveland Browns. But you know, you know the Cleveland Browns will throw an offer at him. You know it'll be a big one too. They'll 100% try to do it. 100%. The only other thing I'll say before we we move on and finish off with the next segment is when I was reading that article that Alan put out there, he did mention two-time coach of the year, Kevin Stefanski. That I can't remember. <laughs> like that, again, exactly. speaking of yeah. things that you just don't remember, <laughs> I can't believe he's a two-time coach of the year. Two-time coach of the year. I believe he's got as many playoff wins as Mike Tomlin in, in that amount of time. So, mm. you know, yeah, it's all it's all perspective. Everything yeah. is is perspective. 